Hello and welcome. On this video, we are going to walk through the Gatsby starter blog and we're going to make edits to it and we're going to make it our own. And um, we're just going to use the Gatsby starter blog as a starting point. And in this video, um, the first of a couple, maybe two, three, four, I don't know yet, um, of how many videos. Uh, this is going to be the first video of how we kind of walk through it. And on this one, um, I'm going to walk us through. So this is our layout that I have created that um, I'm going to use. And you are welcome to use it as well. Just you know, change your name and fill in whatever information you have. So uh, we're going to focus on building this navigation here on the left. And you know, maybe this portfolio picture. We'll see. We'll see uh, how it goes. And then obviously this will be, we'll get to this eventually. So, but in this video, we are going to focus on the navigation. So, uh, let us get started. So here is the, this is the starting point. Um, I have my localhost running, localhost 8000. And if you go to your code editor, you can do uh, npm start. Uh, this is with the assumption that you've already up loaded your Gatsby starter blog and you watched say my previous video and on how to do that and you, you're all set up and you did npm start and so that's where we're starting from so uh, so this is what we have um, it's a good starting point and you know I think it's it's good for the, the for a blog um, but we're gonna transform it into a portfolio where you can add your pieces you can add your um, your websites or your code projects or anything that you've worked on and or maybe you want to block uh, maybe and you just want to do a new style for the home page so uh, yes here it is so without further ado um, we are going to make some edits so I have already partially done this and I am going to kind of use that as a reference and just kind of you know fill in the pages as we go along so I will be looking over here on my right looking at the information so uh, let's go so we have components pages um, as of right now we are just going to use the one page uh, so we have a 404 page and we have the index page. So the index page is our home page. It's where all the information is displaying on this page right here. So this is our index. Dot, uh, well, index.js page. So if we go back, um, bah, 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 yeah, we are not going to start there. Uh, let's start with the where do I want to start? Uh, Gatsby config. It might be, so you might be wondering, okay, how did I make it uh, Chris Shimon's website written by Chris Shimon? Obviously it's not, that's not how it is out of the gate. It is this guy's, I, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Um, uh, I should know that, I'm sorry. Um, so how did I change that? I went to the Gatsby config file and dun, 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 author my name title my Chris Shimon's website that is the title and that is where it, it is displaying um, and I believe we touched on touched on that in the previous video when talking about GraphQL and um, also I also want to point this out I got a new mug that's right. A Gatsby mug, let's go. Mmm. That coffee's cold. That's gross. But the mug is pretty cool. Thank you. Um, I hope you like. If you do like it, just let me know. Maybe I can uh, get one. Uh, um, Gatsby, thanks for the uh, the logo. <laughs> I couldn't find one, so I had to um, I had to make one. Um, uh, so, but I, let's just continue. Okay. So here we are. Mm, let's start with the, 
Let's just start with the background, I guess. Let's just start with, we have to start somewhere. Let's dive in. Start over here. Uh, so let's let's build a component. How about that? Let's, that's a good starting point. We'll start with the component. We are going to build. Let's build the navigation. Let's build the navigation. Uh, does that sound good? Okay. Am I am I in charge of this video? Because it doesn't feel like it. Okay. So uh, I'm going to build a new component, and I'm going to. And that component is. I'm going to name it navigation. At JS. Okay, so within this component, we are going to import uh, React uh, from React. That's a good start. Okay, um, and then we are also going to import I um, use static. Here, you know, I forget what that does. Maybe I'll look it up. I don't know. I'm going to use GraphQL, and I'm getting these from Gatsby. Bump. Um, what else am I using? I am going to use styled components. So I think I have these downloaded and styled. I don't know if I did. Um, components. I'll stop saying um. Maybe. I need to import image from Gatsby image okay and I why do we need that we need that for the little icons that's why we need it I just hope my mic is working and I'm loud enough yeah I think so 20 20 decibels sounds pretty good I go up a little hair and turn it up all right now we're now we're bumping okay so just continue style components. Um, I will do. Oh, I'm gonna stop saying. Um. Uh. Huh. Let us go down. I will take care of the style components in a little bit. Um, I just want to continue. Here, this. Let's do. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, here we go. Okay, so all right, uh, we're going to use GraphQL. So we're going to do export default, and I'll I will try to explain this in a second. We do data. We're going to name this whatever we want, and we're going to use the static query GraphQL. We do little tags here. Those are not um, single quotes. Those are the um, I forget what they're called, the upper left on your keyboard by the Hilda. It's the uh, shift of the Hilda or the non shift. Yes. Um, so I'm going to carry I query site. All right, so I will, I'm going to type this out and I will, I'll come, I will explain it after I type all, the, type all this out. You know what? I get a better idea. Do a little little thing I like to call copy and paste. Boom. Look at that. Much faster. Okay, so I did do this already. I'm just uh, speeding things along. I hope that's okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just, just going to do this whole thing over. That is the GraphQL we are using. So let me explain this GraphQL. I'm getting the site metadata. Where am I getting this from? I'm getting that from the Gatsby config. And, dun dun, sorry. Um, site metadata. So if I go to the Gatsby config, so in the site metadata, I do, um, what do I have here? Let me split this, make this easier. Hopefully, 
Everyone can see that? Uh, yes, good, okay. So site metadata right now, there's a title, author, description, site URL, social. Obviously, these are not in here yet and I need to add them. So let's add that. Uh, hold on one second. Big. Okay. Shall we? Okay. So, what am I calling here? Uh, I'm calling the site title, which I uh, don't see over there. Okay. Ah, here we are. So, basically, uh, of all these that I'm importing, if you do not see it, we are going to add it. So let's add site title. Add it wherever you'd like. And I'm gonna just call this Chris, because that's the name of my site. Very descriptive name. Uh, link one, link two, link three. Uh, those, those are gonna be used later for the links to, from page to page. So ooh, let's add them. Um, I'm going to stop saying um. I'm going to add them after social. Because why not? Link one will be about. Link two will be work. It's the work I'm working on. Link three. I will make blog. And you don't have to use those um, back ticks, I believe that's what they are. You can use double quotes, but I just find it um, easier. Um, once you get into the habit, you use those every time, and you don't have to think about spaces, numbers, um, the, yeah, and what have you, and even uh, variables. So, uh, what else do I need? Menu links. Let's add some menu links. Now, what is a menu link? Well, it's actually pretty much the same thing. Uh, the only difference is menu links is menu links has to do with the link um, component, I believe, in within Gatsby. So menu links. What do I have? Menu links. And I have uh, an array of menu links and each object is a name. So in this case home. And then a link. A link will be a back or uh, the backslash. So just if there's nothing after the you know Christian.com and this is one. Okay. So after that we'll add another other object. Another object of name. In this case it's going to be about and then the link is going to be oops, about me. Okay. And these are optional, the, uh, the, the commas. So you can add those or include those if you'd like. Name. Is that it? I just have two. I think that's all I have right now. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Uh, we'll add more later, uh, but for now, this is uh, good enough. Uh, okay, so let's go down to, what else do I have? Submenu. What's the submenu? I don't know yet, but I have it, and I think it's important. So let's just add it. Submenu. Name. Oh, I know the submenu. Whoa. Uh, this is the submenu. So this is, I've done uh, different versions of uh, portfolio portfolio and so this is going to be version one version two so this will be my third version uh, I've done other versions but I saw someone do this and I thought it was a really good idea to save old virgin versions so that the employers or whoever who comes to your site can see how you've progressed and I thought that was very cool so that's what I'm doing so it'd be one and you can name these whatever um, this is just what I chose. So you, your version one could be 
2007, Chris, where I just started and blah, blah, blah. That's pretty long. But, okay, so the link will be there. And another object, another name, v2, a link, v2, v2, index, I assume. Okay. No, we're going to set up the linking later, but right, just for right now, we're setting this up. So, am I missing anything? Site title, link one, site titles here. And I mean, you could use title as well. I forget why I included site title. Um, oh, the, the title itself is actually, it's used for um, metadata purposes, purposes. And I am using this information beyond metadata. It's probably poor practice, but I am going to do it. So I don't know what to say. Um, don't do this. Okay, uh, menu links, link one, two, and three. What? All right, link one, two, and three. Site title, menu links, submenu. Everything should be good. I don't like this red squiggly line because of this. There we go. Uh, okay, so what do we got going on here? Not good, not good. That is failing miserably. That's because on our navigation.js, there's there's nothing. There's um, there's nothing being returned. This is just exporting information. Actually, that needs to be different. That shouldn't be there. That's a problem. I can remove that. Let's try this one more time. Now I will have this code. Did that work? I will have this code on my repository on my GitHub. I will make sure it's public. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that this is going to work. So I have the site title. So what I'm doing now is I'm getting the variables that we defined right here. Um, and I'm going to put them in here. So basically, we can use them in our return statement. So link one, link two, link three, object uh, equals data dot site dot Right, meta. meta, so meta, meta, right, okay, that looks good, now let's return it, what are, what are we returning, anything we want, um, okay, so I'm going to return something, and I'm going to walk through it, I'm going to copy and paste, or Boom, okay, and close that. And this is our page. So what did I just do here? So I'll remove that. So what I'm doing is I'm returning, what What are these blue, what, is, what does this mean? So this is a style component. So I'm returning a container. And within that container, we have a header. We have a profile image, the navigation. In this case, it is the top navigation. It is these three about work and block. Um, so this looks crazy if you've never seen style components. This might not make sense, but basically a style component is it is. Let me explain or let me show you. That's probably the best way to do it. Uh, we will use in this case. Let's do let's do a container, which I think yep that's the that's the outermost. Parent, right? So let's do const and container. So we're naming it here. And the style component is this. You do styled dot 
and then you define it, whatever it is. So in this case, it's a div. In other cases, it might be an, um, an anchor, or it might be a paragraph. So in that case, you would do .a, and then you define everything in it. So if I go back up, and change this back to div, and okay, so I'm going to so it's uh, I'll just define it. So this is our container. In this case, it's max. Max. I want the max width to be 200 pixels. Okay. And so now I'm doing a width of in my case. I'm going to use 18%, and the height I'm going to use 100%. So basically, I want this to take up 18% of the screen. So as the screen gets bigger. Uh, this black part will also get bigger. And I want it to take up the full height, and that's why I'm using height 100%. So you get the idea, that's basic. We'll call it basic CSS. And I'm going to copy what I've done, and I'm going to paste it, boom, right there. Okay. Um, also, if you noticed, I included uh, a media, um, media tag in, inside of this style component. So now, this is the style component. So basically, it's it's kind of like saying if this was a div, right? And it's wrapped and it had a class of container. You know, class name of container. It's similar to that, but not really, if that makes sense. Uh, so basically, all of this applies to that container, okay? and it's only for this component. These styles are, they're not going to another component. And if I had global CSS, I can bring it into this component and use that. But in this case, I'm just using this styled component. Um, let me check. Okay, I'm still recording. Um, oh, color. You might be wondering, what does that mean? That's because I have to do something sim similar. So I'm going to another style component of color. I'm sorry, that is not a style component. That is just an object. So in this case, I am using color, color. What is my color? What is my color here? Why did I define it? Well, let's get back to that. Okay. Oh, here we are. Uh, we'll get back to that. Okay. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Did I make this? <laughs> Kidding. Um, let's go. So you get the idea. Uh, so I'm going to add the next one. So in this case, it is the header. After container, I'm going to make another. Are you ready? Boom, done. Love that command C and command V. Um, I don't like not having, uh, I probably have that setting on. I don't like having, or not having rather, the uh, semi, but Prettier disagrees with me and as I save it, it removes them. If you haven't seen Prettier, my Prettier video, please just, you can watch it. And, or you can just Google it. That works too. Figure out how to set that up. Obviously, I have not. So that is the header. Um, that's pretty good, I think. So profile image. Uh, bum -bum. Style image. Ooh. Maybe there. Ah, okay. There's something else I would like to discuss. So as you know, or, or as you can see, this is a little different. So styled, and it doesn't have um, a tag. It has uh, the parentheses with image. So that means it is inheriting the properties or the CSS properties of image. And the image properties are actually defined from Gatsby because I'm importing image from Gatsby image, which is very popular and you kind of have to use it when you're using Gatsby if you want to do anything with images. So that's, you know, that 
probably not the best as or explanation, um, but I did use it in a little bit, so I will show you that. Um, I'm going to add the navigation now. Again, all this code will be on my GitHub. I will name it whatever that I name this video. That will be my repo. Okay, um, so uh, so the navigation, as you can see, I did style that nav instead of dot div. And if we go down to navigation, you will see that yeah, that's the uh, the tag. And uh, obviously, once this is rendered in HTML, CSS, on the uh, the front end, it's not going to, it's not going to say navigation. It's going to say nav, just like this. Um, okay, so these little this this information here basically means any anchor tag under this nav element will have these rules. That's what that means. And then you can also do the the media tags or the, um, the yeah, media queries. So anything below 768 pixels will have this rule. So in this case, it's going to have a display inline flex because as it gets smaller, I want it to flatten out. This is, um, I just want to touch on that, whoops, yeah, that this is a little tricky because it's actually, we're actually building two navigations. We're building this navigation and we're building a bottom navigation. They're, it's not one and the same because, and they just have the same color background uh, because once it goes to the mo or goes into mobile, I want this half to go full width across the bottom, as you can see here. And I want the top half to go top or across the top. So they, they have to be, they have to be separate. And that's kind of what I'm doing. Oh, that's bad. Uh, let's figure that out. Okay. All right, I'm going to build this. In this quick copy and paste, this will be our span elements. And within our span elements, there are going to be colors, the colors of our text. Just to, yeah, I don't know. It might not be the best, but I'm going to do it. Let me know if you figure something better out, which probably isn't hard. It's not hard. It's, you know, um, but I like I like this. This seems it works for me, so we're gonna go for it. Um, okay, so here is what I was talking about earlier about the inheritance. So in this, so I'm making a const span. I probably shouldn't name it that, but I'm not using it anywhere else. So I'm not, I'm doing text decoration none, which means just pretty much take away the underline. And, and as you can see here, the green A, which is just, I, I think in this case, it's going to be a green text. And I'm just inheriting the span element of text decoration none. So instead of just typing this in on each of them, like so, you get the idea. I'm just so I don't have to do that. I'm just going to inherit instead, which I think that's pretty, pretty nice, pretty simple. Uh, so with this basic, uh, as you can see in the bottom here, so we have green a purple, a pink, a, which is green, purple, pink. And the A just stands for anchor tag. Because, because, uh, dun, dun, dun. what did I do? Navigation. Uh, so it's inheritant. Oh, it's uh, so, uh, so this link tag, which is at the top, which I inherited from the Gatsby library that comes out of the box and I didn't have to build that component or build that yeah component and so I just used it in my um, 
that's what you use when you're going when you're trying to link between pages within Gatsby. And so technically this should work, but obviously it does not. Can I remove the links on type site site metadata? Huh. That's because I typed in the wrong thing. Any links? Oops, don't want that. Uh, I typed in site. site. Huh. This is a bug and we are going to fix it together. Don't leave. Don't do it. Don't even know what this means. Site site metadata? This doesn't make any sense. Where is it? It's not in here. Okay. We have a problem. We have a major bug. Major bug. Okay. So site set site site metadata. I don't remember typing that twice. But maybe I did. Hmm. Oh, maybe here? Maybe? No. What did I do? Navigation. Um, okay, we're just freaking out about something here. Menu links. Basically, it doesn't like menu links. Did I use menu links here? I did. You know what? We're gonna power through. We don't care. Fix it later. That's my philosophy. <laughs> don't worry about it. Someone else will fix it. I'm kidding. It's a terrible philosophy. Don't do that, kids. Always fix it. Fix it when you know of it. Be a good developer. Be nice. Um, I'm going to try to figure this out. Um, there's only one way. I might have to, I actually might have to install something. Whoa. But I don't know what. Hmm. Style components? I don't Let me check. You know, it could be a don't expect menu links to exist on the type site site metadata. Likely a typo. I did expect menu links. No, what am I doing? Ah, okay. Right? Menu links. Yeah, I want that. Yes, please. Wait, whoa, I know the issue. This should not be there. Remove. It needs to be. Where does it need to go? It needs to go right before plugins. I knew it. Got you, bug. I got you good. Boom. All right, nothing is showing. That's because I haven't installed style components. Let's install style components. I should have done that before. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, we're in this together. Stop. Uh, let's go. React styled. Ah, you can see my history. Components. I don't want React. I want Gatsby. Yes, here we go. Now the fun begins. Um, where's the fun? It's not fun yet. 
Here we are. There has to be an install somewhere. There has to be something. Am I wrong? Or am I right? Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Hey, let's read about style components. This is fun. I, I don't like reading. I just like to do. Oh, here we are. Here we are, mate. Hmm. I don't like that. Ah, much better. I like to just do a control or a command F and just look for install on the page. So much faster. I love it. Okay. So, first open a new terminal window and run the following to create a new site. A new site? I don't think so. I'm just going to copy this and um, dare I run it? Make sure I'm in the right place. I can have my server running and I'm installing. My computer might blow up. This might be a terrible idea. After you install style components. I already have it installed on the computer, I believe. Yes, I do. Uh, so you have to go into your Gatsby config file, and this is where you have your components, uh, your install components. And you just go in here, and if it doesn't show up, you have to edit manually. In this case, they tell you right here. Then add it to your site's gatsbyconfig.js. Uh, module.exports and plugins. So in this case, this array, see this little pink line? Da, 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 plugins. And I'm going to the bottom, and I'm going to add it there because why not? Why not at the bottom? If not there, then where? Uh, I'm going to do NPM start. Let's see if this works. So previously, we had the issue of not seeing the style changes that's because everything we built was or are in style components and if the style components component is not installed it will not work i installed it now and now it is going to start the server and i will probably fast forward this okay it's done. Finally. That took forever. But you want to know that because I fast forwarded through everything. All right. Cool. Okay, style components. So if we go over here. Okay, as you can see, look at those crazy changes. I'm um, just kidding. There's nothing. Why isn't it displaying? Let's figure this out together. It might have something to do with this. The index page. Let us examine. Ah, uh, perhaps? Why? So I need a layout. Oops. Uh-oh. Use that. Ah. Sorry about that. Uh, don't, don't, don't. Let's go to layout. Okay, so I think this may be the issue. I have to. Yes, this is the issue. So, because of components and nested components, it can get kind of tricky. So, in this case, I'm putting. So, if you go to layout.js, you'll see that there's already a header and there's already a footer. So this is where I decided to add 
my own. So I'm going to have to pause this video very shortly because my wife is about to walk through the door. But here we go. I'm adding the navigation. Let's hurry up uh, and make sure you import it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I have to import, navigation, save, and boom, there it is. Pausing the video. I'm back, unpaused. We're going at it again. All right, so here is the video, or I mean um, the homepage. Here is the edit that I made. As you can see, the navigation bar is on the left side, and there's no footer because we haven't gotten there yet. So, but it's pretty close. All right, got that, and move up, move up. Yes, I would say that's pretty good. You know, I might add some more padding there. Uh, as you can see, it's not exact, but this is a rough, this is a rough drawing. So um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the video there. And uh, we have this made, and I'm going to upload the code, and I will put it on GitHub, and you can reference it later. You can look back at it, you can copy it. I don't care, use it, put your own name in there. That's what it's, uh, that's what I'm here for, making stuff for the world. Okay, so um, I am going to, on the next video, we are going to add the footer version, and then maybe we'll do the portfolio image. We'll see, we'll see how this goes. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.